But you see this same bowing to expertise in this profile here of uh, McAfee in the Atlantic. Nobody will ever refer to it. Nobody will ever quote it. It has no value because he's not following journalistic protocol. So there's a new documentary on Amazon Prime called Blue Angels. It's about the U.S. Navy fighter pilots who do those amazing stunts, the Blue Angels. And I just watched the first 20 minutes, and it seems obvious to me that they have very strict protocols. All right, uh, regular airline pilots follow very strict protocols because you get better results when people follow protocols. So it's not ridiculous that there is this journalistic fixation with journalistic protocols, just like it's not ridiculous that uh, virologists have certain protocols for how they understand the world, right? Usually uh, protocols that stand the test of time are more adaptive than maladaptive, but there's no reason that the protocols will always be the best solution. But I know from my own experience as an interviewer, there are certain protocols you should follow to do the best interview. You should not inject your opinions into the interview. So there are definitely very useful protocols for airline pilots, for journalists, for doctors to make sure that you haven't left a sponge or some medical instrument inside of someone when you've done surgery. So there's very good reason for protocols.